blue gum psyllid is endemic to eucalyptus here in Ireland and I suspect everywhere else in the world. These are eucalyptus robusta, very healthy, very pleased with them. However, they do have blue gum psyllid on the fresh growth there. I'll take some close-ups and inset them. These are eucalyptus globulus blue gums. So you would expect them to have blue gum psyllid and indeed they do. I'll just give you some close-ups. I'll inset some photos, but perhaps you can see there in the infolds of the new growth, definitely some of the larvae. Generally, what I found was they loved the protection of the enfolded leaves of Eucalyptus nitens and Globulus in particular. And then once these trees developed adult foliage, then I had much less of an issue with blue gum psyllid. These are nitens and they're starting to develop some nice flower buds. So very interested to see what these look like next year. There's quite a few on this particular tree. I've seen blue gum psyllid on most of the varieties of eucalyptus I grow here. Some varieties such as nitens, globulus and pulver ulenta are particularly prone to them. I can't say that I've noticed any on the yellow gums, subcranulata johnstonii, or what I term the ash varieties of eucalyptus, regnans oblica fastigata. These are eucalyptus parvula and they're very healthy at the moment. Just looking fabulous, gorgeous. Can't say that I've noticed much in the way of blue gum on the parvula. These really are looking very healthy, very pleased. Parvula are amongst the hardiest of the eucalyptus. So very suited to the cold snap that we're experiencing at the moment here in Ireland. During the first couple of years when the trees in my mini forest weren't too tall, I would go around with the garden hose on spray setting, mist setting and just wash the worst of the psyllid off. And I'm convinced that kept them in check while I built up a predator balance. Earwigs, spiders, I don't have a lot of ladybirds, I'd love to have them and lacewings also prey on blue gum psyllid, aphids, etc. I don't spray any chemicals at all here at Clonsnochta. During the second year, I did try neem oil and solutions of garlic and perhaps I just wasn't very good at mixing up the solutions or applying them. It didn't seem to be that effective for me. What I did find effective was fly paper. I just used that in the polytunnels and that was very effective, but it kills everything. Spiders, earwigs, everything. So I stopped doing that. Generally speaking, I don't have much of an issue with blue gum psyllid here. This past summer has been worse than previous and I think the reason for that was it was a mild winter 2021-22 and the frosts wouldn't have killed off all the sap sucking bugs like blue gum psyllid. Also I fed all the wee birds and the wee birds would have eaten, preyed on the bugs on the earwigs and spiders, so I'd have less predators for the summer to prey on the blue gum psyllid. So that's generally, I'm working out how to establish a better predator population to keep the blue gum psyllid under control. Hope that helps. Good luck.